Palupale Police Station was set up in 2008 and currently has 14 staff members accommodated in tents. Dr. Kashkola says plans to build barts, a charge office, a kitchen and a dining hall are all on the cards. The ministry, he says, will use the infrastructure development concept applied at Okanyandi Police Station. So it's one of the, uh, the modern facilities. It's actually powered by, by the means of solar, uh, or solar system, uh, which is capable enough to, uh, to light up the area. And this is what we want to do for all other posts. Uh, including the one that you saw at Orupale, uh, the one that um, I visited yesterday in Omboloka, and some others. So this is not the only one that we have built. Uh, in you know, Hangwena region, we have uh, built the other one, the one at Mfituwana uh, Kasole, uh, at Ondi, and, and then this one, as well as Omauni. Kashikola says the ministry's wish is to build quality infrastructure to see officers patrolling along the borders work under better conditions. What we want to do really is wherever we go, we want to build quality facilities so that for the next 10, 20 years, we'll never come back. Uh, given the budget, we'll continue doing the same. Uh, until such a time that uh, every police officer, uh, especially those at the border, have actually uh, facilities where they can they can sleep. They have facilities where they can uh, they can work. Common crimes recorded at the Lupale Police Station include suicide, livestock stolen and driven into Angola, common assault and assault with intent to do grievous bodily harm.